your girl Janae, and I am back with another video. Y'all, so apparently today is, well not today, but this month is Vlogtober. Um, I wasn't aware. I'm not really a good vlogger, well I'm not a good YouTuber, right? I'm okay, you know, I ain't, you know, all that. But it's okay, so I'm gonna get there. But I'm not gonna say that I'm gonna do something every day because I don't know. I might, I might not. But I just got off work. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna make a video today. I really don't be doing nothing. That's why I don't be vlogging, like, cause I don't barely go nowhere. And when I do, I just be, you know, enjoying the moment or whatnot. But I don't know. So I just got off work and I just came home. Um, I'm about, probably about to make some TikToks and do that. But other than that, I'm really not gonna do nothing today cause I'm at home already. Um, I probably cook some steak and stuff so i probably put that in here too because i told y'all i wanted oh i didn't tell y'all so i had made a video with the um the fruit like the exotic fruit i'm try to post that but something is wrong with my computer and it's not loading any of my videos like to edit and upload so i'm trying to figure out what's going on with that with the computer and if i gotta get a card or i don't know because i don't even think you can get a card with um a MacBook, can you like to where you put your card, like your stuff on the flash drive so it won't all be on the computer? I don't know. We're gonna have to figure it out because I was supposed to been posted that video and I don't know. Well, maybe I'll send the um, picture to the thumbnail lady because I found this lady on Instagram that make thumbnails. So I'm gonna send her the picture that I got so she can make that and then get that out the way. But y'all, yeah, I'm not doing it today. I'm probably about to make some TikToks and do some little cooking but in my video with the exotic fruit i was telling y'all that i want to start doing like more cooking videos because i like to cook and uh cooking videos q a intros you know like just fun stuff and maybe some pranks or whatnot but i'm not sure right now how that's gonna go oh i might go get my other phone so i can do tiktoks on the other phone and then record it on this phone while i'm doing the tiktok hmm should i I don't know, but it is October 4th, so I'm late because I really didn't know that this was a thing, but I know I'm going to do Vlogmas. I'm going to really, 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 really try to do Vlogmas because I know around that time, a lot of content creators and stuff, they get a lot of views and, you know, it's like a fun family thing to do for um christmas you know to vlog the whole december and i really want to try to do that so i got this little notepad and i wrote all the days and then i also put it in my note too to plan out in advance what i want to do for vlogmas because i don't want to be like right now i didn't even know that vlogtober or whatever it's called was a thing so i'm just going off the top of my head but for vlogmas i really want to have everything in order and have something to do every day of December if that makes sense well I know that makes sense but so yeah y'all I had got my hair done on this side it look okay well not the swoop but this side child in the back mm -mm. I still look cute though I gotta fold those in the back so don't mind those but yeah y'all so I'm about to make some TikToks oh maybe I should have had it this way I'm about to make some TikToks and then just chill for real and cook i probably cook at like seven or eight yeah i'm so tired but i gotta get up for work my nails i gotta get up for work at 3 45 in the morning so i'll be trying to go to sleep kind of early because today i was so tired because i had been off late on the layoff for um two weeks the layoff was two weeks, but I had been off already because I told y'all uh, I went to Houston for my birthday. So I was off a whole week from work. And then when I came back from the trip, they put us on a two-week layoff. So I just went back to work and I had been up all night. All night. Like, I was up to like one, almost two. And then got right back up at 3.45. So I'm extremely tired, but I'm not going to go to sleep right now because if i go to sleep right now i'm gonna be up all night again so that's gonna be pointless but yeah make sure that y'all if y'all didn't watch my previous video with my birthday vlog in houston because that's the one that's up right now 
go watch that video. Well, go watch all my videos that's on my page. And um, share, comment, subscribe, all that. Do all that because we're trying to get we're trying to get this little show on the road, okay? Period. And then, y'all, I got these books that I'm about to start reading. I didn't have these books for a while. Thinking Grow Rich. The 4-Hour Work Week. And then Unscripted. So I want to start reading these because I'm trying to get out of the nine to five. I'm trying to, you know, start a business and be, you know, an influencer because I be going through stuff that I feel like people can relate to and then, you know, period in general. And then I also just like to, you know, talk and I'm really cool down, you know. So yeah, that's why I said we got to get this show on the road because baby girl, we not about to keep playing period okay okay my face look oily y'all it's breaking out on this side Ooh. right here it's okay because it's not i didn't even expect this to last long anyway but my face breaking out on this side i'm sad but okay so Excuse me, y'all. I'm about to do these TikToks. I'm about to try to set the phone up and then do my TikToks on my other phone. And I'm about to try to do that. So I will be back. But if y'all didn't watch my other videos, go do that. Okay, go do that. Go do that. Go do that. Cool. I'll be back, okay? Okay, y'all. So I didn't do did it. So I didn't give me some TikToks. I didn't got in the shower. So no, don't mind my dog. Oh, it's the rain for me. So now I'm about to go cook. I told y'all that I was gonna cook um steak. I think I made steak, potatoes, and broccoli. Or should I make corn and green beans? I don't know, but all right, so we about to do the steaks. I'm about to try to set this camera up so that y'all can see. Yo, I didn't make my TikToks. I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna post them on here or just post my name for TikTok because I don't know if they're gonna copyright the song. But. Okay, y'all, so I'm about to cook. I just got out the shower. It's 7 30 right now, so period. I got on my friend shirt 11 11 collection. If you're in Detroit and you're looking for a waxer, she also does waxing. Period. I'm gonna put her name in the description below. But anyway, yeah, so I'm about to do the steak, so let's. Okay. What y'all season y'all steak with? If y'all be cooking, let me know what y'all cook y'all steak with. I mean, not cook with, what y'all season y'all steak with. And yeah. Do y'all rinse y'all steak off? I do. I rinse everything off. Hamburger meat off. Y'all don't know what I'm doing. I'm beating my steak, so like I'm stabbing it. I don't know what that's supposed to do, but my family with that, so that's what I feel. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use garlic and pepper. Laurie's garlic and pepper. Four shots. Okay. I'm gonna do onion powder. I'm gonna do Montreal steak seasoning. I think I'm gonna do that. 
think I missed it. Something. Oh, I'm gonna put a little extra pepper. So I usually do like the salty stuff first. So like the garlic and pepper, I'll do that first. put this on one side just think i didn't put this on both sides i'm trying to decide if i want to do baked potato or mash okay i think i'm gonna do mash because i got these left from when i had a crab boy or should i save these for when i do another crab mm. i think i'm gonna save these I don't like skin on my potatoes, so I'm gonna peel them, but I'm not gonna peel them, if that makes sense. I'm gonna slightly peel them, because my boyfriend, he don't care. He don't care if they peel, not peel, whatever. He eat whatever. <laughs> not whatever, but almost whatever, if that makes sense. Hold on, y'all. My mama calling. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, so I just got to phone my mom. Um, I didn't already cut up the potatoes and put them in. I'm cutting up some onions now. Because for my steak, y'all, I got to have onions. Like, all over it. I'm cutting up a whole onion. This is half. I ain't cut up the other half yet. This is the other half. I got to have onions all over my steak, y'all. Okay. I'm like, girl, y'all gonna be like, oh yeah, you put me on. I sure did. Because I'm so bored, y'all. This is how they do the season. Get into it. Oh yeah. Yeah. I gotta stir them up and then I gotta put some mushrooms in there. Good. I just used that because I just put that up so long. No, no, no. So yeah, y'all, that's what the stick looks like in the onions. Um, I'm about to get some mushroom. Hold on. Y'all, I wish I had some stuff for a salad. Ooh, some homemade salad. I got some veneer dressing, um, balsamic vinaigrette, and I also got some Olive Garden dressing. Mm. And I seen this recipe on TikTok that I wanted to try. It's a, um, anyway, um, okay, I was trying to see if these were old, but they just froze. So, I seen this, um, TikTok where they do, like, the Caesar dressing, I mean, like, the Caesar salad, but it's, like, at home. So, I think I wanted to do that. And, but I gotta go get some romaine lettuce. But I go to store today, so I told y'all I came right home after I got off work, so. Oh, shoot. Ugh. Well, maybe another time I'll go do it. But yeah, so I'm picking these out because some of them are going to be So I'm going to come back to y'all when I put the um, steak on and the rice. I mean, not the rice, the broccoli. Okay, y'all, so 
I just forgot that I was recording. These are my potatoes. Well, I just crushed them up. I'm mean, like, you know, mashed them. I didn't put nothing in there yet. Um, I'm about to put some garlic butter. This is the kind of garlic butter that I use. I'm about to put some of that in there. Some milk. And then season, seasoning. And then these. I'm talking about these. This is my broccoli. I got to put some butter on top and then season that and put a top over it so that they can steam. And then I still didn't put my steak on yet, but I'm about to put my steak on. So one second, y'all. I already put a little bit of the garlic butter in the potatoes. So hopefully it'll be good. The only reason that I didn't put my steak on yet is because I don't want it to be overcooked. Because, well mine, I don't want mine to be overcooked because I like my steak medium. So I don't want mine to be over cooked and I want to watch it so that it won't be undercooked so that's why I didn't put them on yet but I'm doing these potatoes y'all I never put no heavy whipping cream in here so hopefully it come out good because I never put heavy whipping cream in mashed potatoes oh yeah it looks like they more creamy oh it looks good <laughs> I'm about to put some more butter because they supposed to be garlic mash y'all know so that garlic flavor could be in there. I just put some more of that and then I'm about to season it with garlic powder and salt and pepper. Apparently none of these are open, so none of just the garlic. So for my broccoli, I put a little bit of water in it because I buy frozen broccoli. I never bought fresh broccoli. So I put a little bit of water in there before I put everything in, like put the broccoli in and I put salt and pepper at the bottom and put um, the butter at the bottom. And then I drain most of that juice off. Well, not juice, water. I drain most of the water off and then I put the butter on top and then I season it and then I put the lid on it so that it can steam. So I'm about to do that. I put a lot of broccoli, I mean butter because I like it to not be like bland. So I cut all that and put it in. Put that on top. And then I put only a little bit of salt. And then y'all can see the fire is kind of high. I'm gonna turn that all the way down and put a lid on it. I'm about to start using heavy whipping cream in my um in my potatoes girl because it's giving very much restaurants who you who you who you know who do you know I really should have put my um I really should have put my uh ring light in here had it recording from behind but I got on a little bit short so I ain't trying to have the booty all on YouTube you feel me okay so those are done. now I can start working on my steak because like I said I want to watch my steak yo I need to find something else to clean my cast iron with because I put it in a dishwasher and y'all see how it looks like it's like rusted I'm about to put some garlic butter in there. Turn that skillet back on. And then I'm also turn my mashed potatoes back on. But I'm gonna turn them on low. So they just like steaming. So this is what it looked like, y'all. Excuse the stove, I gotta clean it. I'm cooking right now, so that's why I didn't clean it. Okay, so 
I'm gonna wait till that cook a little more. I mean, not cook. I'm gonna wait till the skillet get a little more hot so that I can do that. I actually think I'm gonna cook these separate too because last time I cooked them, I um, had to end up putting his in the oven because he wanted to cook a little more. And he's not even here, so I might yeah, cook mine first and then cook his. I don't know, we're gonna see. I got some garlic. Okay, I had to put a little more butter so my skillet could heat all the way. Yo, I be trying to cook like chefs. I watched Gordon Ramsay um steak tutorial. And I'm about to try to cook mine like that. So we are gonna see how I go. Uh, broccoli, a little shake. So get the seasonings. I told y'all seasoned it to be on there. I'ma set this. I'ma set a timer on the oven for four minutes. I'ma cook each steak for four to five minutes on each side, and then after that, I'ma keep on turning it and basting it. So that y'all can see. I think I'm about to get my ring light so that y'all can actually see me cooking my steak. And then I'm gonna show y'all how it come out. So hold on y'all. Okay y'all, so I just put my ring light up so that y'all can see from behind what I'm about to do. And then you see the butter at the bottom of the steak. Okay. Y'all see that it's brown, right? That's what you want. You want it to be brown. I'm gonna take the tongues and I'm gonna flip the steak so that on the other side it can cook for three minutes or four minutes or however long. So y'all see on this side. Oh, that's great. Okay. I don't know if y'all can see, but y'all see that it kind of already is cooking a little too fast right there on that part. So I'm going, I should have put some more butter on the bottom. I'm going to put a little more butter on the bottom so that the bottom of the steak won't brown. Like how the top is. The timer so that it could be four to five minutes on that other side too. Okay, so the butter that I put in my broccoli is gone. It's no more butter in there if you see it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little more on top and then I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna drain it. I don't think so. Okay, so I don't think I'm gonna drain it but I am gonna put some more butter in here and then when I put the butter in here, I'm gonna just let the top sit on it so that it can still cook, but it won't be overcooked with the heat. The timer is still on three minutes, but I think I'm gonna flip it early so that I can start basting it and put the garlic in there. Open the stuff so that the smoke won't um, set the alarm off. But I think I'm gonna turn this so that I can start basting it. Oh okay, yeah, I'm gonna leave it for a couple more minutes and then I'm gonna put the garlic on the side and I'm gonna show y'all what I said I was gonna do with the basting. put my little baby vegetables on. I saute my vegetables with butter. I don't saute them with um, oil because the butter give it a better flavor to me. So He not even gonna eat no vegetables, only me. With like the um, onions and stuff, he not gonna eat none. So that's why I only made this much because he not gonna eat them at all. So I'll put those. Now I'm about to start. I'm about to turn it down. I'm about to turn up. So I turn my steak down to low, and I'm about to put more butter in it with the garlic, and then I'm gonna baste it until that I think it's done for me. So now with the basting, I put some more butter on the side. I'm gonna turn it over. I'm about to actually drain the rest of this butter off that was already in there. So I'm 
So then I'm gonna put a little more butter because I drink it all off. Butter that was sticking to the bottom of the pan, I just took it off. So I basically just scooped it off a little bit and I'm about to take the paper towel and grab it off the skillet. Okay, I know y'all like it. this girl put some more butter. Okay, so I put the steak back in there, right? When the rest of the butter melt, I'm gonna show y'all how to baste it. Y'all, I'm not no cooking pro. I ain't no pro, but I be trying, so don't be talking about my food in the comments, okay? Okay. So now I'm gonna turn this to the side. I'm going to get a spoon, and then I'm going to just put it on top. The butter that's on there, I'm going to put it on top. It's not even a lot, because I just drained both of it off, but I'm going to just put that on top. And then I'm going to let that sit again, because I didn't put a lot of butter, and I'm not putting no more, because we already kind of got a lot. I'm going to turn this fire down, so that the cast iron skillet won't out overcook the outside, but don't cook the inside. If that makes sense. And then I'ma just let it cook a little bit more while it's in the skillet. And then I'ma cook this. I'm about to put a little more um seasoning on my vegetables. Uh, so what I'm about to do is um take this out and I'm gonna put it in the oven. I'm only gonna put it in the oven for like four or five minutes because it's actually to my liking is done for me. So this is gonna be mine, and then I'ma cook his, but I'ma cook his all the way through. Cause I like mine's medium. He likes his medium well. I mean, I like mine's medium. He likes his medium well to well done. So I'ma cook his, and then after I'ma be done, and I'ma straighten up the kitchen. But I probably do that after I get done eating, cause it's kind of getting late, and I usually be in the bed at this time. But I was making TikToks and stuff, so I had got started late, but. I'm about to put my steak in the oven for a couple minutes and then I'm going to put his on there. I'm going to show y'all the finished result. Instead of putting my steak and finish it in the oven, I just let it finish on the skillet and I put his in the oven. Um, he outside. I didn't expect him to be coming back this fast. That's why I put it in the oven. It only got 20 minutes, so that's not bad. But I got to show y'all what it looks like. Now that it's done. I already put the stuff on the um, plate, so nothing needs to go on the plate. <laughs> it just gotta be, uh, nothing gotta go on the plate. It's just the steak gotta come off the oven. Other than that, everything's done. And I gotta clean off the rest of the stove. I ain't gonna lie, these potatoes, y'all, I'm gonna have to give y'all the recipe, cause they good. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna have to take a picture and put it so that y'all can see. I'm gonna take a picture and put it. Or I'm gonna flip the camera and show y'all what it looks like. So hold on, I'm about to flip the camera and um show y'all what it looks like so that y'all can see. It is giving very much width. Do y'all see that texture? <laughs> steak not burnt <laughs> that's the butter from the skillet i need to clean this juice up off the plate because i don't like that <laughs> 